very good morning to everyone uh, today we are going to discuss about the topic in unit 5 it's about uh, the federation of cloud uh, the characteristics and then definitions of uh, the federation of cloud we are going to discuss it in the first slide the term cloud federation and the intercloud convey the a general meaning of about uh, how the uh, cloud is aggregated and then what are the service providers and then who are all the the administrative uh, domains are there so everything uh, it gives you gives you your yeah, aggregate collection uh, that is said to be your uh, uh, cloud federation and uh, intercloud uh, they are trying to convey the meaning about uh, uh, who are all the uh, cloud providers uh, and then the admins uh, so what these two terms mean how they apply to the cloud computing is uh, uh, the term federation implies the creation of organization that supersedes the decisional and uh, administrative power of the single entities uh, and they will be acting as a whole the cloud federation uh, according to the definition uh, given by reuven coven so it's about uh, uh, how they manages the consistency and access control when two or more independent uh, uh, geographical distinct clouds uh, when they share the information uh, based upon the authentication and then their files uh, cloud computing resources uh, and then the commands what we uh, specify it to access it the control or to access the storage resources so everything is uh, managed uh, uh, said to be the uh, cloud federation and then uh, when we discuss about the topic of intercloud it is a term that is often used interchangeably to express the concept of cloud federation uh, basically it was introduced by cisco intercloud which represents the cloud of clouds and therefore expresses the same concept of federating together the clouds that belongs to different the difference between intercloud and federation cloud intercloud is based on the future future concept that is uh, regarding their standards and then the open interfaces while the federation uses the vendor version of control plane uh, with the intercloud vision all the clouds will have a common understanding of how the application will be deployed so this about the uh, a common difference between intercloud and federation cloud so cloud federation here uh, what are the things they have been uh, having an aggregation uh, together is uh, they used to balance the load and then capacity management prevention from vendor lock ins uh, prevention from uh, power outages and failures uh, efficient use of surplus resources scaling data to other C, other uh, cloud service providers so these are all uh, an aggregated to give the uh, cloud federation cloud federation uh, stack uh, stack development architecture they have specified here that is conceptual level logical and operational level infrastructure level so in conceptual level it's uh, regarding the motivations uh, and then advantages opportunities and then obligations so how far uh, uh, we can able to uh, uh, make use of the cloud so that is of the conceptual level in logical and an operation level here uh, they are discussing about uh, how for uh, 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 the consistency of data is maintained and how for the data is been stored and retrieved uh, through the various agreements uh, and then market and pricing models we use to uh, have it in the the second layer that is a uh, logical and operation level and the third is infrastructure level so here the protocol interfaces and standards uh, as well as the programmatic interoperations uh, federation platforms everything have been discussed in the infrastructure level so this everything will comes under the part of uh, the cloud federation stack so uh, this all that uh, this is about the uh, overall idea about the cloud federation and uh, uh, open open stack of uh, cloud federation thank you